Welcome back. This is Don, and today we're going to show you how to set up a link share uh, affiliate feed into your data feed store. First thing you want to do is if you're not a member of LinkShare, you want to go ahead and join and go to their website and pick some merchants. They have a merchants by category section where you can find merchants that you like that you want to add their products to your store. Then you're going to want to go to the data feed section. Now if you're not a, a merchandiser, uh, which is what they call their data feed merchants, you're going to want to sign up as one. If you've done some business with them, it's free. If not, they charge you a little bit of money to get set up and see their website for details. Once you've selected your uh, merchants and been approved by them, uh, grab your data feeds from LinkShare and then log into your uh, admin section and you can either access the link share module through the uploads tab or it's right there on the very front home page and you can upload your uh, link share data feed files either through your browser if it's a smaller file say less than 10,000 items or through FTP if it's a larger file with maybe up to 50,000 items and there are more instructions here on the the admin page on how to get set up with link share and such so let's go ahead and upload a data feed file from link share uh, just uh, click this button on the browser settings and select a file. I just happen to have one here. I think this one's from 1-800-Flowers. And click uh, select. And, it, and instantly it's already in your store. If you want to go check your store and do a search for, let's say, roses. And you've got all these roses that are from 800-Flowers in your store now. Now this will create a product page for each one of the products and it has a cloaked link to the uh, merchant, directed to the merchant, cloaked links being ones that won't interfere with your search engine listings. This is the sample product page. And it of course it provides some suggested listings there towards the bottom. And let's show you how this directly links. So when a consumer sees that link on your page and clicks on it, they go to the uh, the merchants page if they buy you make a commission on it just that simple nothing to, to you don't collect money you don't ship anything it's all handled by the merchant so let's go ahead and do a FTP upload this time let's say you had a larger file or a whole series of files you didn't want to waste time with your browser uh, just upload them to your link share folder in your admin section and they'll be listed right here you can press the blue button to install the feed or the red button to discard the feed we're going to go ahead and install one right now and now those products are in your store and there you go we went ahead and put some shirts in our store obviously LinkShare has hundreds of premium merchants so they've got some really really good product feeds that you can add to your store and it's just that simple and that fast These are, again, a cloak link uh, won't interfere with your search engine listings, and this took you right to the Paul Frederick website where your uh, visitors can buy a shirt and you make a nice commission. In the next video, we're going to show you how to set up a, uh, a commission junction feed. It's very similar to uh, Link Share, but we're going to walk you through it anyways. Go ahead and put your uh, preferred item title in here and that'll be your featured item on the front page. And there you go. That's all there is to it.